Dream's face reveal could qualify as the worst mistake made by a content creator ever. And we're gonna outline several reasons why, beginning with possibly the most crucial point being that Dream's unseen face was one of the only things keeping him relevant. For example, Dream was able to appear in Mr. B's 65 million view 2020 rewind simply because he hadn't shown his face yet, which accompanied hundreds of commentary type videos teasing and clickbaiting what Dream apparently looked like. Dream did a face reveal, 2.6 million views. Did Dream just face reveal 19 million views? Dream's face reveal 21 million views, all of which providing insane amounts of traffic to Dream with absolutely no effort required on his end. There was then the monthly Twitter get together where everyone focused on Dream while trying to figure out who he was, including this classic post reading, hashtag Dream out. Can we discuss how he catfished 20 million people into believing he's some cute ripped twink while he looks like this IRL? Yes, this is a picture of Dream. Yes, he uses his brother as a body double for merch picks, which accompanied numerous posts by Dream himself, where he was able to capture the public's attention by teasing a hand, glove, or mouth, prompting even more traffic toward Dream's brand and videos. Now, Dream did explain in his face reveal that he was tired of people going to insane lengths to try and expose what he looked like. The people trying to leak my face, trying to find out what I look like, trying to, there's too, there's too many. It's a, a little, a little, just a, a tiny, tiny bit too much. Yet perhaps he was simply unaware of just how relevant these incidents were keeping him. Additionally, since almost all growth on YouTube comes from some kind of uncomfortability, Dream should have recognized this feeling as a signpost to let these attempted exposés continue, giving him wave after wave of free relevancy. On top of free relevancy, Dream's anonymity simply gave people a reason to follow his story as a creator. It made the whole thing fun for the audience. As mentioned in this article by PC Gamer, fangirls seem to often perpetuate the mystery with fan art, unapologetic standing videos, and fantasy situations, with Dream's face reveal putting an instant end to all of this. The illusion of him being a supermodel, unusual, or perhaps a god amongst men is gone. He really is just a guy you'd see on the street. Dream also seemed to ignore just how much of the brand itself was based on his hidden image. His song Mask, which has over 30 million views, only exists because he was a faceless creator, while on his merch site almost every piece of clothing still uses the anonymous Dream smiley face. There's something that's charmingly simple, unique, and memorable about the smiley face, which when combined with the classic Dream Green, makes for incredibly distinctive branding, as can be observed in the case of his Minecraft skin. However, it now feels as though most of this branding is fairly redundant, as we now know what he looks like, yet at the same time, Dream has made no effort to change his branding to match his real life image, which would also be a poor strategy as he'd then have to change everything to something completely new. It's almost like the channel is still represented by a green and white smiley face, although when you think about Dream, you instead think about this image, representing some kind of unexplainable inconsistency. For most channels, adding a face can provide the brand with a strong dose of recognizability. However, in the case of Dream, his face reveal seemed to do the opposite and instead weakened what was already working. What this reveals and what should be obvious was that a face reveal was never necessary in the first place. With over 30 million subscribers, Dream had built the largest Minecraft channel in YouTube history and never had to show his face once. None of his thumbnails ever used an over-the-top surprised face, yet still achieved sometimes over a hundred million views, while the content itself was more entertaining without a face cam in the bottom left hand corner. Dream's unique strategy was definitely out of the ordinary, however it was still clearly working extremely well. So if the content wasn't broken, then why was Dream trying to fix it? What was his motive for revealing his face? Well Dream seemed to imply that the plan was to make in real life content with his friends. A lot of you are probably wondering, why now? Why are you finally revealing your face? My goal was to just start doing things, get out, meet creators, say hi to my friends finally. I will make more IRL content as well where I'm with me and my friends and we do things and I'll do Minecraft content as well where I'm in real life. Like there was a cool video idea I had a long time ago that I couldn't do until now. And while this was an excellent plan with a lot of potential upside, his execution on the idea has been far from impressive. It's been a quarter of a year since Dream uploaded his face reveal, yet there hasn't been a single upload since. Dream stated that he was going to move into a content house with George and Sapnap, yet the only two pieces of content that have come out of their group house 
house or a pretty basic Christmas stream, as well as a clip explaining why they hate living in the house together. George and Sapnap seem pretty busy doing the banter podcast, which I will credit as being a pretty entertaining show. However, Dream isn't even one of the hosts and has only been featured on the podcast once, which happened two months before the face reveal was even uploaded. It seems like the only real upside Dream got from his face reveal was 50 million views on the video itself, another couple million views from other people talking about it, as well as an appearance in the recent Mr. Beast Antarctica video, during which he barely said a word. I watched Mr. Beast's video about Antarctica, and I noticed that Dream was in it, and he was extremely boring. And even then, you have to question if this kind of exposure is all that beneficial for Dream. Most personality-based creators with a similar following to Dream have gradually exposed their faces to the world over a number of years, and have built up a tolerance for what that kind of experience is really like. Additionally, these others have also got a feel for how to act on camera, which is a skill set in and of itself. In Anthony Padilla's I Spent a Day with Dream video, Dream explained that his main skill or edge over other YouTubers related back to his Minecraft skill. I feel like I didn't blow up because I have this like amazing personality. I think I blew up because <laughs> of my ideas, the quality of the idea and the execution of the idea versus yeah. the quality of like the personality. And just because Dream knows how to play Minecraft in a unique way doesn't necessarily mean he'll be an entertaining on-screen personality. Then there's the question of what happens to a person's self-image and outlook on life when they go from completely anonymous to having their face known by 50 million people within the space of a month. Sure, Dream likely had a rough idea about what this kind of exposure was going to be like, given he already had 30 million followers and had been through drama in the past, but generally those were attacks on Dream the persona as opposed to Dream the person. Remember when SoFlo Antonio rebranded to just SoFlo, stating that the only reason he did it was because it's much harder to attack a brand than a person? Well, Dream kind of did the opposite to this in exchange for, as mentioned previously, very little upside. Dream now has to deal with attacks that simply didn't exist beforehand, which began as soon as his face reveal went live. For example, He's Ugly began to trend on Twitter instantly, and while this had little to do with the channel and could certainly be dismissed as untrue, it still likely had some kind of hit to his ego and possibly even his desire to add his face into future videos. Then, in case half the internet telling you that you're unattractive isn't already bad enough, Dream then had to deal with a wave of Twitter allegations, which began only one day after his face reveal was uploaded. The YouTuber trending right now already face revealed to me years ago when he was flirting with me when I was a minor through his personal snap, number, and Twitter, which accompanied an image captioned, he's only face revealing because he's scared I'll do it first. Dream responded to these allegations by stating, in these DMs there are no inappropriate comments whatsoever. It was just friendly conversation. In these screenshots, them being 18 years old is mentioned in their bio, and I also very clearly asked them for their age. I did not act inappropriately with this person, and any attempt to equate these messages to grooming is not only disgusting but is insulting to victims who actually experience grooming and still have trauma as a result. The drama ended with the two claiming that they plan on taking legal action against each other. However, this wasn't the end of Dream's unfavorable situations, as he then gets some of his Snapchats leaked. This dude got his Snapchat absolutely exposed. With all of his thirst traps and uh, well, let's just say it's absolutely embarrassing to say the least. The most socially awkward vibes I've ever seen from any content creator. Like, this guy, I'm convinced, has no social interaction besides talking to George and Tommy in it on Discord. The point we're trying to make here is that his face reveal has given unprecedented access to his personal life. Every attack on him now holds significantly more weight and could potentially reduce his motivation to be a YouTuber altogether. Dream's other problem was that his face reveal was uploaded at the worst time imaginable. Major changes to a channel are always best executed when things are on the up and up, because if you change things during a slump in your channel, it looks like you're acting out of desperation, and it certainly felt like this in the case of Dream. His channel had fallen from gaining 100 million views per month to around 20 million views per month, and to randomly upload a face reveal after having your lowest monthly viewership in over two and a half years wasn't exactly the best look. Dream had also seemingly ended his extremely successful speedrunner vs hunter series, and could without a doubt see Minecraft's decline in YouTube popularity. While I could be completely wrong with this, his face reveal felt like it was coming from a position of, I can see my channel dying, so let me upload this for some quick short-term relevancy, which probably isn't going to sit well with the audience over the long term.